hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you are new here please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you are old here thanks so much for coming back again so in this video I'll be sharing with you some tips to create your own logo using Photoshop this might include some logos of um, popular sites like Facebook um, YouTube and some other stuff so I hope this video will be helpful make sure you watch throughout cause I got a cool trick for you that you need to know so let's get doing this all right so the first thing ever that you can think of when you want to create a logo is using your name or perhaps a combination of all your names or a name with your spouse or some other stuff so the first tip that I'm giving you is creating a logo with test only so if you come to Photoshop you can select the test tool over here and then you type your test right so let me change this color to black okay let's type something so maybe you know text all right so let's open it up let's open this one up good so we have this particular test over here now Creating logos with your test has to be, you have to get some unique fonts, some stylized fonts, some great looking fonts, you know. So, let's say I have this particular font that I call Messenger Pigeons. If you have something like this, you know, the moment you change the font to this, you, you've got something great, you've got something good looking, right? So, you can go ahead and modify this particular uh, test like this let's say for example that we want to make the you know or either the text some different color so we will just select it go and change the color to something like okay let me use something like this or any color that you want so i have this one over here so you can see that from the first thing that we did We've created or we've modified this particular thing so the first step in creating any logo for yourself is using your name very simple so I can do this and then you can go ahead and write anything that you want to write under this particular thing this will be great looking most um, popular websites like Amazon and other stuff they use simple tests to create logos they don't use anything um too difficult or like that so you can use this okay another one that i want to talk about is creating um, logos with the costume shape tools over here so there are a lot of costume shape tools over here that you can use to create logos let's take for example facebook used a very simple eclipse or they used a very simple circle and a test to create their logo let's try that one out so you select the eclipse tool then you draw an eclipse very simple like this so you change the color we are we are using facebook so you can change the color like this and then you go ahead to type in your test so f and then i'm changing the color to tw cents then condensed and then all right the tests so if I open this one up, I've got a very simple logo. So it's a very simple thing that you can. So you can go ahead trying different um, shapes. Let's take for example that I have this particular shape over here. The polygon tool. So you draw a polygon. Um, the size, let me make the size 6 or so. So you can draw a polygon like this. And then you change the color to any color that you really want right so you change the color and then you can just hide this one so you have something very simple like this so you can go ahead and use different shapes combination of different shapes to create different logos let me show you another step like YouTube's logo you create something like this very simple and then you change the color to red it is very simple right so like this 
and then you go ahead to add a test so you and then you open it up you have something like this you copy it out and then you can edit this one to tube so afterwards you change the color to white and then you have a very simple logo so this is really simple that you can do in about 30 seconds or so so you, you just have to open your imaginations very wide get to know what you want to really do grab some shapes grab some test and then you are good to go another cool trick that you can use is creating something like i have this rectangle uh, yeah the rectangle tool over here let's try to create something like this i draw a, re a rectangle and then i change the first color to something like this okay so let me go ahead and rotate this one a little bit and then i'll make a duplicate bring it to this side and then i can also change the color to something like this so i'll go ahead and make a duplicate of this one and then i'll bring it down like this so you take your time to position it very nicely like this and then you change the colors you change this one to maybe something like this and then the other one also to something good looking like this and then you have a nicely built logo just like this so you can select or rotate it anyhow you want it just like that so it's very simple now if you go ahead and select the uh, eclipse tool over here and then you draw an eclipse in the middle of this change the color to white you have a different style of logo so it is as simple as that you can combine different um, shapes different things to create different logos now let me talk about one last thing over here now if you create a rectangle also like this right and then you change you Put the fill to zero percent right click and then go to the blending options and then you can stroke it out a little bit see something like this and then you rasterize the layer style pick this rectangular market tool and then cut off some area that you don't want like this so you cut it off and then you can insert a name in this particular rectangle and then you have a very simple logo so you can create different different logo different logos for yourself another cool trick that you can use also is choosing the eclipse to you draw an eclipse like this change the color something like this and then make a duplicate of the eclipse bring it down small and then you change the color too so i got something like this so you, you can just position it very nicely at this place or anyhow you want it just like this and then make a duplicate again change the color so you can you can be blending different colors that's why i told you in the first place that the first thing that you've got to do is to know what you want your logo to look like so after everything i can just do the last thing over here change the color to white and then i can bring it down like this so that it can blend with the background so if you are using a blue background the last thing has to be a blue background and then you can select the whole of these things you rotate it anyhow you want it and then you have a very simple logo so you can write your name anything that you want to write so i hope um, this video was helpful hopefully i might try to do a part two of this video because i don't want to keep it very long and boring so um a quick recap you have to get an idea of what you want to do the logo that you want to create your name anything that you want to and mind you the logo has to be a reflect of what you do you can't just use any shapes and any test to do whatever that you want to do so um thanks so much for watching i hope this video was helpful if it was i hope you give it a like and then you don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials thanks so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video bye